So once again, the moment has arrived for the first bounce of a grand final. Alan got his hand on it. Capuano went a bit early. Alan got a second touch, couldn't get a kick away. McKay's picking up, McKay's picking up Abraham. Stevens running with Camparelli and Simpson. A big job on Murphy. King to himself, and then a dangerous kick. Doesn't quite get it outside 50. Rattens with a real charge. Lines him up, goes for it, and he's going to kick the first goal. Brett Ratton. <laughs> David King will be disappointed. The little one to himself, and then the kick lacked the penetration. It was a 50-50 ball, and the Blues have won it. What a great start for Carlton. And Brett Ratton, he's kicked a few important goals in the last few weeks. He just got himself in a bit of a hole, David King. He had nowhere to go. The long kick didn't appear to be on, so he tried to chip it to Stevens. He had a two-on-one contest against Carlton, and when it broke free, off almost one step, Brett Ratton finished beautifully. And look at the excitement. They are pumped, the Blues. Silvani, an effective spoil out the back. Sexton gets a hurried kick. Lumbering towards it. Initially, Capuano needs support. Eventually finds Pickett, but he's under the pump. He goes back to Capuano. Can they get out of this one? Another one to Pickett. He's had an excellent start to the game, Pickett. He bounces his way up towards half forward. Puts them inside 50. Down towards Kelly. Oh. This is going to be one of the best contests you'll ever see in a grand final, Silvani on Carey. Silvani started very well. He called it long, he wanted the long kick, he put the hand up because the sun came out, then he just held Silvani in front of him. He timed the push off to perfection and took what looked to be a relatively comfortable mark in the end, but I can guarantee you that's no easy feat. That guarantee you that's no easy feat, that mark there by Wayne Carey. Carey, 74 goals so far this season, directly in front. 25 metres out. And the Kangaroos are on the board. Bradley, Bradley beaten on this occasion. Ball flipped out the back. Abraham, good vision. Kick forward by Simpson to within 45 metres. That's a free kick. No, that pass. Let play go on. Christo, Grant, Grant. Still Shannon Grant. Oh. Magnificent goal by Grant for the Kangaroos. <laughs> this is just hot, this opening corner. That is a brilliant piece of play by Shannon Grant. It looked like there might have been a free kick given by Corey McKernan, but I think in the end he was worried about jumping into the back of Wayne Carey, and he, he half pulled out of the leap when it spilled free. As we see, no one really affected by that. A good tackle first by Shannon Green. He kept his balance. He rode the half tackle from Ange Christie, and G threaded the needle with the kick. No substitute for skill, but a couple of unsung heroes in that passage of play on half back. I think Mick Martin and Brent Harvey did particularly well when they were outnumbered. We welcome him to a grand final. They'd be a little bit nervous here. The last, well, the two goals that Carlton have kicked have come from returns from the point post kickouts. Abraham was a target at the back is Bell. Gives a little ground. They get clear. Pick it onto the Great left foot. Kick. Magnificent for Shannon Grant. If it sits, he's away. Rice gives chase. Grant's got to be quick. He is. Oh. Beautiful kick again. And he finds Stone on the 50. The Kangaroos are 50. Certainly is, has created a chance for Craig Scholl. He's got the benefit of the doubt, Jason. Jeez, he's a fair roost. Murphy's long bong to fall forward. Whitnor was at the back, was waiting. Manton chases hard. Ball still to be won. Manton going to get it down to Bradley. Bradley going the wrong way. Handball okay to Allen. Allen's got two men loose. Decides to go long. Beaumont's at the back and Brown. And Brown's marked it. They have the numbers. Archer says they should have had the numbers. He's kicked only four goals this season. He's kicked another one. He's kicked another one. Okay, well, Hickmont's still warming up. We could be seeing him soon. We keep an eye on Fraser Brown. Oh, Pick no. Up. Straight to Camparelli. We Brown can't coming believe his good fortune. How costly is that kick out going to prove? We'll find out right now. Camparelli from 50 metres. Lovely looking kick. Costly one, wasn't it? From Pickett. mistakes and that's what happens he's right against the boundary line 
bathed in sunshine now the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Gee. He bombs away to the square. It's oh. still alive. Four, five to three, three. Allen getting on top. They're winning the centre square. Harvey's little kick to half four. They need a goal here. McKernan, he must impose himself on the match. Shoal goes. McKernan loads it up and gives it a run. Oh, yeah. Kicks the goal. You're joking. He's imposing his own. <laughs> That's the answer. Well, what a major play from one of the big players on the game. I'll well, tell you what, Peter's done a pretty good job on him today, but. Uh, a fortunate kick that just dropped short. He took the chest mark. I thought he was too far out. And Jared, you don't see too many kicks like that, do you? No, this is a, an adrenaline boosted goal, uh, Jason, without any question. But the important aspect was that the Kangaroos, for one of the few times in this match, won a ball from the middle of the ground. Allen won the tap, but it was the Kangaroos who took it forward. Thumping kick going all the way. Shane Clayton coming on for the first time. Harvey's gone off uh, the Kangaroos. Andy <laughs> McKay. McKay is clear and he's got Bradley, but beautiful interception by David King. Oh, all the way. Here goes King. All the way. All the way, they say. He bounces his way through the centre. Oh, all the way. way. He's beaten Murphy. 60 metres out. He's tired when he takes the kick. It wobbles towards Carey. Smashed towards Rice. He couldn't take it. Christie tries to sucker off the ground. Ange goes again. Pokes it wide. Francina leads in the race. Allison on his hammer. Taken towards the line. Kept in by Carey. An excellent chance for the Ruse. Simpson goes with a high kick in towards goal. Oh, they need a mark, and McKernan has done it again. Done it again. Check side. Oh, he's got it. Check side goal. Oh, he's got everything. What a way to finish it. In the space of two minutes, he's kicked two of the most spectacular goals you will ever see. Well, just before that, uh, Jason Leno. To kick from 50 metres. He's got McKernan, one out. The Blues inside their forward 56 times in this term. The Kangaroos three. McKernan just pulls the kick ever so slightly. Not McKernan, Capuano. Mark has been taken by Welsh oh. in the goal square. Will kick a goal for the Kangaroos. They that, lead by four, they could lead by ten. That is absolutely criminal by the Blues' defence not to get a fist on that. I mean, it wasn't a high leap. He basically just reached high and plucked it out of the sky because all the others were body on bodies. He kicks the goal. But they really needed to get a fist on that ball as it came through. In the end, he just took a pretty simple mark in the middle of about eight players. Probably Stevens can't go anymore for uh, the Kangaroos, but McKay short kick cut off to Bradley and then Murphy missing his target. And the Kangaroos have kicked the last couple. Abraham's been quiet. But he can be destructive. He kicks to Carey. It was a good kick. There's Brown in the box. Carey launches himself. Kicks to the goal square. Scholl's going to mark it on his own. Christie's having an absolute shocker. Got left behind. And Scholl on his own has taken the mark. First time we've seen any semblance of Pagan's paddock. And that's because... What are they the doing the here, the umpires? They've actually called, touched off the boot, boys. So it won't be a mark of real ball. Can you believe that? Touched off the boot. Well, Ange is lucky there because Scholl turned him inside out. Stiff the kangaroos. Anyone here? Uh, the amount of possession required has been replaced by Anthony Stevens. He looks like he's just come out of the <laughs> trenches. He's just Doesn't hobbled it? on. He's got one leg. Look at this. Here's the goal. Peter Bell wobbles and wobbles and wobbles it through for their fourth in the quarter. Importantly, Sandy, a lot of this has happened. Ratton came off through the blood rule. He's back on there. He had a chance to put a shepherd on, but it was on the side of his bad elbow and he didn't do it. McKernan, Ratton read at best, belts it hard and high to half forward. Whitnell, this will be his first kick. First mark to Bruce. Goes onto the pocket, Hamill's the target. They've gone very wide, needs a good bounce. Can he turn Mickey inside out? He cannot. Martin got back. Lapton's handball was good. Hickmont to go for goal. It's close. You can hear it hit. <laughs> Bang right in the middle. It was a good touch for a bloke who came on a few minutes ago. Beaumont said to get out with Massey and Nelson. Uh, Archer takes the kicker. Manton's been dragged from attack to defence. He's picking up Craig Scholl. Lappin lets him go, so he kicks towards centre wing. Scholl oh, sees brilliant. the back come up on the top, and one of them is this man, Corey McKernan. 
starting to show his class. Gives away quickly to Clayton, who goes to half forward. McKay unable to take it cleanly at the back. Shannon Grant, two attempts. He wobbles it. He needs it to spin to the left. Receiving from Hamill, kicks the ball towards half forward. Lappin, he's got to get this and score a goal, Matthew Lappin. That's what he's paid for, and that's what he's gone and done. Two goals to Lappin. Very important answering goal for the Blues. The Kangaroos that had all the play in the last 10 or so minutes, kicking five goals, the Blues get back to within 16 points once again. And it's a little bit like the third quarter last week, Sandy. Uh, the Blues were blown apart by Essendon. They looked as if they were shot. But they just hung on with the odd goal, the odd important goal. And that was one of them. Huge goal. He's kicked two, so he's not, he's not going to last too much longer. That's for sure. Kangaroos through Clayton Ooh. and Grant. Look out. Down towards Blake. It could be chopped off here. Clayton goes again. Put a couple in the back from Frank Cheney. Play on. They do towards half four. Big pack of players crunching it, pick it, takes them on, tries to get through, lap and drag to the ground. Carlton sensing they've got a real chance here to close the gap. Had a chance to get rid of it, Glenn Archer, do you think? I was going to so, Robbo, but I'll tell you what, there was a number of players for the Kangaroos who just overused the football and the Blues look like they're... Free kicks being paid here to the Kangaroos. And it's going to Archer. Archer's kick in towards half forward. turn the third let's see what happens can the blues make a move or will it be the kangaroos quick kick by harvey out of the center massey has got to get his hands on it early the ball eluded him still Ooh. eluding simpson terrific tackle coup to feed his little kick didn't go far good body work little give was good simpson loads it up goes to full forward sexton's at the back pushes it away from welsh to abraham winnie's gonna <laughs> stroll in a kick of goal <laughs> terrific start for the kangaroos and we'll see it on replay. Kerry hasn't had a lot of kicks, but there's one deft little tap there that just pushed the ball back in front of his players. He knew they'd be there, the support runners, front and square. And that is, is what has created this opportunity for the Kangaroos. And have a look at the ease with which Winston Abraham strolls in. He just gives it a, a well, he shows it slightly to Michael Sexton, who uh, he's in a, a no-win situation. And he's almost half pace. He just jogs in and says, I'll slot this on the left. Just what Carlton didn't want. Does get the hand pass away. An opportunity for Camparelli. His hand pass okay to Bradley. They need a reply now. They need their skipper firing. Goes wider again to Camparelli. Floats it way over the top. Lappin is a goal kicker. He's a long way out. In towards full board. Murphy from the back. Can't take the mark. Who's going to be first to recover? Archer got it out. An attempted soccer off the ground. It doesn't work. Martin a chance to clear. Can't do so at the moment. He goes again. Oh. He the boundary line. Now there's a... Murphy's in trouble behind play. He may have done his knee, I think, Sandy. Went for the big fly, came down awkwardly. Well, drama, we've got Murphy down. Oh, oh. That's what happened. Knee or ankle? Knee. That's the knee. Just have a look at it. Oh, gee, the foot gripped and the knee this went. Kick now. This is a big kick. He's got to blow time out, surely. He's taking the kick. It's gone. And who can blame him? What a goal. That's a great kick. Here's a chance now. It spills to Kudafidis. He can't break away. Can he get a kick away? Can he run over trouble? Brilliant football. Hand pass goes wide. The Blues have got numbers. Matthew Allen kicks across his body to the front of the goals. No mark taken. The ball hits the ground. Beaumont beaten for it. On this occasion by Blakey. Nelson oh. confronted by Pickett. Strong play by Pickett. He's caught for the ball. Brown the tackler. Ball spills to Ratton. Still Ratton. Now Lappin. Lappin. Can he find some space? He does. He kicks the ball towards full forward. Still no mark. Matthew Allen working overtime. Oh, oh it's no. Miss Cash Rally. That would have 
bit more time then. He didn't realise how clear he was. He could have taken a few more steps. Again, he kicked off one step. You really need to just balance yourself before you have your shot. And John Lomai coming off his first run. Thanks, Dipper. King belts it out wide. Here comes Cougar. Good defeat. He's over the top. Takes them on. Leads back. Oh, this will be far. colossal. Simpson runs him down. Brown's oh. got it too far. He ran a mile. Too far against Cougar. <laughs> I, reckon, I reckon the next five minutes is never yep. going to tell this match. Game's up for grabs. It's there now. is on. Leading is Shannon Grant. He's kicked three goals in this game and has been sensational. But he's got to beat a couple here. He does well to get it away from Nelson. Opens the door for Bell. He suckers off the ground. Over the top of Manton, who's first to recover. Gives it away towards Bradley. Bradley finds Brown. He's on centre wing. Goes inboard. Here's a chance now for Ratton. Ratton can go. And he does. Onto the left foot. In towards half forward. Plenty of holding on. Play on. They do. Free kick. Play on. Free kick. We'll see it come back. Not this goal. He's going he's gonna, he's gonna to pay it. The advantage has been paid. Carlton have picked the goal through Bowman. And Carlton just have the momentum at the moment. Well, let's take a look at David King. He is looking for petrol tickets. Anthony Cooter Fudis has still got plenty in store. I reckon the Blues are in the box seat just at the moment. They certainly are. I mean, they have a little bit more system when they go forward, whereas the Kangaroos are just bombing it, hoping for Kerry to take a big mark. Sources with more bandages on than Matthew Capuano. The bounce back at the centre. And some pressure now on the Kangaroos. Kudafidi's trying to lift. Bradley leading magnificently, Craig Bradley. That kick, not good. Matt, marked by Bell. Leopard's got him. Head pass by Martin, out wide to Lappin's immediate opponent in Pickett. Pickett kicks the ball towards full forward. A big mark. Big man, big presence, Corey McKernan. McKernan. I still think, uh, I still think uh, even if this goal goes through, that the Blues have still got the running power. It's going to be a monumental performance for the Kangaroos to hang on. Shot for goal by McKernan. It's a magnificent kick once again. He's got three. The Roos desperate for the next Next goal, absolutely vital. Martin gets a fist to it. Carey waiting down in front, needs someone going past. It turns out to be Martin. Allison has to run, and he does. A wobbly old bounce. He's got to go oh, again. He goes to end up. The door opens for Silvani. He can't pick it up. Well done by Silvani. He's got him. And he beat him. Silvani, that's why. Stuff by Silvani. That's why. Down towards half forward. It comes off the chest of Martin to Carey. A little bit of time for the skipper, the son playing havoc with Simpson, but he's equal to the task. He takes the mark on centre wing. Oh, good kick. The Roos desperate for the next goal. McKerna oh, that's a taken kick. high. Oh, Welch, Motlop, Motlop to goal. 20 metres out. He steadies the Kangaroos. Well, at the moment it looks like the trump card for the Kangaroos could be Corey McKerna up forward. And even on that occasion, the only way they could stop him from marking the ball was to give away a free kick. A good decision by the umpire to play the advantage. He just gets dragged down over the, over the neck. A good handball. I don't know if uh, Shannon Motlock was quite expecting it, but he was more than happy once he realised he was running into an open goal. And that'll settle it. 4 seven, nine. They haven't broken the Blues back, but it's a good lead. It's a very handy break. Grant with uh, plenty of penetration. Oh, oh McKernan. He's starting to become the big player on the oh, ground. Quick kick, quick kick. He goes on now, he's in a bit of trouble. The left foot, we can see Murphy there in the box, and Abraham's marked it. Well, he got himself into a bit of trouble there, McKernan, but uh, everything he touches at the moment turns to goal. Well, I think he was he was looking to get the quick kick on the Scott Welsh, who was running back towards goal, and in the end, he put himself under pressure in the midfield that's opened the Kangaroos forward line up and giving McKernan a, a real free reign. He's so skillful, you'd reckon he'll kick it for sure. Steady as you go. Steady as you go. Winnie's kicked his second. And now they're away. It's going to be tough now. They've pinched a five-goal lead. Well, it was turning and into the real. Blues have got some problems trading by five. Back to McKay. McKay whips it back in. Whitnell tries to get himself into oh. the picture. Carey gets rid of Archer. That's not what they wanted. Off the ground by Whitnell. Little handball, terrific to Lappin coming oh, from Carey. Wonderful chase by Pickett. And then steaming through his big oh, 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 that is 
terrific stuff. They're going to talk about that tonight. Archer a bit injured at the back. Simpson kicks to half forward. Wonderful grab by Welsh. It's all happening. Taking off his grab. And also Bell. The kick's a beauty to Bell. That could be the match winning bit of footy. That could be the match winner at half back. He didn't care who was in front. Brett Ratt and Fraser Brown, two of the more experienced, and, uh, and we know that they're pretty tough and good at tackling, but he just said, no, I'm coming through. Bell to give them a six-goal lead. And he's drilled at home. It's another one. Well, Dennis Pagan didn't want to look at the tape from last year. He'll play that bit of playback time and time again. Three-quarter time. What about the quarter from Peter Bell at the moment? He has had 14 touches in this quarter. Shoal was the best flyer, belted it down, Bell 15. 15. <laughs> Grant's kick three, Grant's kick three, Grant's kick four, Grant's kick four. Well, the Premiership quarter, you betcha, you betcha again, 15-5 to 17. Well, he's got to be pretty close now to the North Smith medalist, is Shannon Grant. Uh, he has had three outstanding quarters. Peter Bell, Adam Simpson, and I think also Winston Abraham has had a very big third quarter. They've really just given the kangaroos the spark they were looking for. Jeez, it's almost like Wimbledon, they're checking the chalk mark yep. now. <laughs> Another opportunity for Carlton after the Whitnall miss. Maybe he can make amends, maybe he'll be the man, the hand pass. To Francina, it's high, coming back in towards goal, might just about make it, touched on the line. Touched by Mick Martin. Justin Murphy, Fraser Brown, oh. and Chris Messi. And Justin Murphy's not only got ice on his knee, it's also his ankle, so two problems there. And Bradley's got the ball, he gives it to Beaumont, who's a left footer, sits nicely for him in towards goal, smashed down in front, that could result in a goal to Hamill, beautifully claimed and taken to ground. The kangaroo's defence has been sensational today, and again it was Martin Pike in the thick of things. Look at this. Look at those steely eyes and that vice-like grip. Hamill was going nowhere. Throw he does. In. Puts it out in front of Hickmott, and he's marked Good. about 60 metres out. He kicks to a one-on-one -on -one back in the goal square, and well done, Whitball. Couldn't oh, take the mark Archer, still a chance. Kicked alive by Allen. Still Whitball. Another magnificent grand final. His oh, third. Well, done, well played by Martin. Change about to come on Capuano. They built the ball back to centre half forward. No mark taken there by Kudafidis. Simpson wrapped on hands and knees. Abraham can hurt them here. Bell's on his own. He oh, straightens up. To use Bell. He had his Still got Bell on his own. Still with Abraham. Kicks it to Bell oh. now. Watch this. Bell's taken the mark. Oh, Silvani flattens him. 50 metre penalty. Oh, Kerry's giving a little backhand and a crack. Just to even things up, I think. It's getting messy now from Carlton's point of view. So many times we've seen it in grand finals in recent years. Another one. Three goals to Bell. Gee, haven't they got some goals out of their midfield today? With Bell and Shannon Grant. The Blues have dropped right off in that area. And one of the great war horses of the competition is coming finally from the ground. And he has earned his Premiership medal. He certainly has. You're speaking of Anthony Stevens. The cloud, as we see, Camparelli shoot for goal for Carlton, and he pops it through. Well, a much, uh, much... Massey on the ground for the Blues, and Dean Rice has gone to the bench. And Kerry's gone to defence. Chance for Camparelli, but kick forward again by oh! Simpson. Simpson has got to be a contender for this best on ground oh, grand final. Shoal over the top unselfishly. Motlock for his second. What about Shannon Grant? A magnificent touch. Tried to get the handball away. And then he just lunged and knocked it out again to Craig Shoal. Who with the handball released? Shannon Motlock. And he runs in to kick his second. What about the fly from McKernan? Did he get up and reached over the top? He was looking for it. I don't, think he's, I don't think his match is uh, 
the importance of it is reflected on the stat sheet. He's kicked three goals, but he's only had eight possessions. He's, he's taken six marks, yep. but it's been that big presence. He's and he's done it when the game was in the balance for the Kangaroos. Strikes today yet again. Been a wonderful performance by the Kangaroos. Blakey got a high one. He's playing his 299. Well done there by Kudafidis to Nelson to the pocket. Whitnell's got it. He's got his hands on it a bit in the last quarter, but he's had some chances. Let's see if he can get a late one here. From the pocket, just 20 years of age. Good kick. He's kicked a goal. He's kicked a late goal. So Whitnell gets his first. And the Blues are just playing for a bit of pride now, aren't they? They said that's the Kangaroos have answered that this afternoon. Big bomb from Winston. They've still got it in the area, and it should result in a goal. It does. There's another one. Peter Bell is having a big day. Bell has got his fourth goal. Three of those in the second half. And there's the North Chairman, Ron Casey. No tears this year, Sandy. No tears this year. <laughs> Just... Well, Peter sure, Bell has yeah. gone uh, from perhaps one of the worst players on the ground for the Kangaroos in the first quarter to one of their very best for the match. Massey's left-hand handball, OK, to Christo, who settled after a pretty shaky start, but uh, they've been bombarded. That's a good kick to Hamill now. Whitnell's on here. Hamill over the top. Good-looking kick to Whitnell. Got him. And Whitnell's going to kick his second. I said he had a dog of a day. In the end, he's making something of it, the kid. 11 kicks, 7 marks, and he's kicked a couple. The important thing is Byron Pickett. Kicks the ball towards half-forward. Gathered by Carey. Gets the hand pass away, only to be gathered here by McKay. Just knocks up, shrugging tackles. As does his opposite number at the other end of the ground in Byron Pickett. And the kick has been marked by Allen. And he's had a great season. 11 possessions, 17 hit-outs, and in the late moments of the game, he's kicked a goal. First goal in this match to Matthew Allen, the 11th on the scoreboard for Carlton. Welsh not quite, McKay kept his eye on it. Manton Hamble back was OK to Massey, who is the youngest player out there today. Kuda feed his little grubber around. Mickey got a bad bounce. Oh. In the second <laughs> He couldn't possibly kick a goal, but wouldn't it be great? Kicks the ball back inside. Carey's got it. Soss can't believe it. Silvani had him wrapped up, but the kick found a way. Ron Casey, the chairman of the North Melbourne Football Club. That's just brilliant. And this great champion, who did in many ways turn the game in an unfamiliar role in the centre square today, has a chance to kick his second goal. Straight in front, takes his time, caresses it through, and he's got two. The Kangaroos lead 124 to 83. The average winning margin. There's Mick Martin slapping it away with the right fist, but only as far as Rat caught in a tackle, he's slung. Nelson can't get clear, eventually got the hand pass and finishes back with Ratton from a standing start. Into Harford, Hamill in front. Takes a strong mark. Had two defeats coming. He's going to ruin that average margin on you, Bruce. To close I think. that average. I'm glad. I'm glad. I was, I'd love to see it a little closer. Well, the Blues would have been hoping for a lot more of this during the game. He, he was a very important player in their setup up forward because he can take a good mark and kick goals. Unfortunately, he just hasn't had the opportunities that he would have liked today. He does make the most of that one, however. Hamill gets his first goal. It's a remarkable performance by this team. They finished the 20th century as the team to beat in the new millennium. As the time ticks down and the Kangas have won a fourth premiership, well done, Dennis Pagan. You deserve everything you've got today, and so does your club. <laughs> Tears of a different kind today for John Longmire. <laughs> Worthy winners, no question about that. Goodbye, 98. This is 99. <laughs>